Hey YouTube, welcome back to another Maya tutorial. Today we're going to do something really cool. We're going to create a flag and we're going to animate it. And uh, this involves uh, end cloth and some uh, dynamics. So uh, let's get started. So make sure you're in the polygons menu and we're going to start off by creating a just a simple polygon plane. Polygon tab, click on polygon plane. And we're going to drag that up on our grid and make it sort of flag shaped, something like that. Okay, that looks fine. Now we're going to set that upright, so we're going to hit E to rotate it to minus 90 degrees. And we're going to hit W to move it up a little bit so it's not in a grid. Actually, I'm going to turn the grid off. That's not a problem. So display and grid. Okay, that's gone. Now, it's really important that you have enough subdivisions in this uh, plane because if there are subdivisions, then the polygon object can't bend. And it's, you know, obviously pretty uh, helpful if a flag can bend. So make sure you got that uh, set up. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn this object into end cloth. So make sure that you got your object selected and switch to your end dynamics um, menu. Go to end mesh and click on create end cloth. Okay, that's done. Now, when you create an end cloth, you got certain presets that you can use, uh, whether you want the cloth to be heavy denim or silk or something like that. Well, considering we're creating a flag, I'm going to go with the silk. So I'm going to select my object again, hit Control A for my attribute editor, and then I'm going to go into my end cloth shape tab, click on presets, go down, silk, and replace. Okay. Now you can't tell that it's silk, but you will in a minute. So now we need to do a couple of things. We need to add a gravity field to this uh, object because uh, anything on the planet, as you know, wants to fall down, including this flag. So we're going to make sure again that the object is selected. We're going to go to Fields, still in the End Dynamics menu, go to Fields, and select Gravity. There's still nothing going on until we go into the animation tab, put in 200 frames and 200 frames. As soon as I play, the flag will just fall down. And like I said, there he goes. Okay. Now, obviously that's not what we want, so we're going to stop the animation. We're going to drag the slider back to frame 1. Okay. And we're going to put a constraint in which means that we're going to have a certain part of the flag uh, hold its position so the flag just can't fall down. So I'm going to right click on the object. I'm going to go to vertex mode. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to select the vertices at this end of the flag. So I'm going to drag select all the way down like so. I'm not too good at this. Try again. I think I got all of them. Not sure. Um, yeah, okay, I did. Alrighty. So I got this, uh, the vertices selected, and while these are selected, I'm going to create a constraint. So still in end dynamics, go to end constraint and hit transform. Now this is going to hold the flag in place. And when you're doing this in a scene, you know, you're going to texture it and create a flagpole and all that stuff, but you know, this is about a process. What I will do actually is I'll give it some uh, texture so you can see much better what the animation will look like. So I'm going to hit 5, textured mode, right click, assign new material. I'm going to create a simple blin. I'm going to go into the color tab of the blin in my attribute editor. And I'm going to select File, and in the folder I'm going to select the, um, a texture that I got from the internet on my desktop, and I call this Dotted. Now I did this on purpose, so when you got the dots on your object, 
you know, it's it's really uh, easy to see, you know, the texturing and stuff. Uh, not quite sure whether he actually assigned my material or not. Should show up. Hmm, interesting. Let's do a quick render and I'll find out. No. Nope. For some reason he didn't. Okay. Bear with me, guys. So I'm going to do it again. Assign new material. Hit blend. Oh, I, I didn't select the object. Sorry, guys. Right click. Assign new material. Blend. Go to my checker and color here. Select file. Go to the file menu. Select dotted. Select open. And there we go. Excuse me, guys. Okay. So we got that textured. Now, with these 200 frames set up, if I click animate, the flag will fall down and this line here will hold in place. And I'll show you that. But already you can see much better the dynamics of the flag and uh, you know how it's uh, acting nicely. And uh, that's pretty cool. But it's not exactly what we're looking for. We obviously want this uh, flag to uh, move around and you know react on the wind and, and such. So that's the next thing we're going to do. So I'm going to stop this animation. Just click on stop there. And I'm going to move it back to frame one. And then I'm going to select my object. I'm going to go to my nucleus. Uh, and with nucleus I mean this object and here you got a couple of settings that you can play with like air density, wind speed, etc. So first off I'm gonna increase my wind speed to approximately 30 actually exactly 30. Now look what happens uh, I'm in frame 1 and I'm gonna hit play What you see is the flag is not falling down. Actually, it's uh, animating nicely. The only thing is, it's blowing straight towards me. And uh, so I need to change the direction. Now, as you can see here, wind direction, this is your X, your Y, and your Z. So I'm going to change my Z to 2. And uh, that should actually be minus 2, sorry. minus two and as you can see the flag is starting to move over to my right and um, you know the flag is uh, acting nicely now this uh, doesn't look that um, uh, fluent obviously because it's rendering on the go so to speak um, if you um, render your uh, frames out one by one, stitch together, and create an animation, you know, it looks fine. So you wouldn't have a problem there. And the neatest thing to do is just to play around with these settings because you'll see your flag moving directions and so forth. And uh, that's pretty neat. So I hope this was helpful. And um, if you like it, uh, I really appreciate likes and subscriptions. And um, if you've got any questions or comments, just uh, let me know. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.